Hi, folks, Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, thechrisvossshow.com. Hey, we're coming to you with another review of a really exciting product, one of our favorite products that we like to review. It's from thinktankphoto.com. That's thinktankphoto.com. These guys make some exceptional camera gear and equipment bags, carriers, all that sort of good stuff. I use their retrospective bags on a consistent basis whenever I go kind of splunking around town shooting. It's my great gear bag and also holds my laptop. And one of my favorite bags to travel with is the Think Tank Photo Airport. I believe the airport takeoff is what it is, the airport takeoff bag. And I've loved the crap out of this bag. I've beaten it silly. i bash it over curbs. i bash it over uh, all sorts of airport travails that you can take and get yourself into. And it's just stood up and been an excellent, excellent carrier for me. As you can see, it's taken a little bit of a beating. Now, what Think Tank Photo has done is they've sent us their new updated Airport Series Roller Camera Bag. This is the Airport International Version 2.0. This thing is freaking much more advanced and much more awesome. So it's got a lot of really cool features. You've got a front area here where you can take and put stuff. You've got a zip area here where you can store stuff, really small stuff and everything else. Check this out. This is freaking amazing. It's got a locking system where you can lock the bag down and have some security for it. Uh, one of the things that they have on the back is a plate with a serial number. So you can register this and get your bag back if it's uh, stolen or lost, or potentially get your bag back if it's stolen or lost. It actually has a cord that's hooked to it with a TSA cord too uh, that you can take and lock this down so that you don't have to worry about it being walked off with, say you're at a shoot or something, you're, and you've got a bunch of your great camera gear in there. You have to be worried about somebody just taking your bag with all your gear. It also has an add-on strap for putting a tripod here in the side, and they've just done an amazing, amazing job with it. So we're going to take a look over it in more detail, see what we think. Okay, so let's start at the top of the bag. You've got a really comfortable grip handle that's heavy duty, well stitched, and everything else that makes it really easy to carry the bag. On the bottom, you also have a handle, so it's easy if you want to do a two handed pickup with this thing on the side. Makes for a great form and function there. You've got, of course, an area where you can store stuff right up in here, kind of a thin sort of area where you can put your tickets, flight tickets, things of that nature, and be able to squeeze those into the back. You've got an area for your ID pocket where you can put a business card, which I normally do. You slide that baby in there, and away you go. You also have the area, of course, that you zip, and it's got the area for your handle, and it's got a beautiful handle that comes out and does a great job that way in and helping you with the device rolling around. What's nice is I'm really tall, and so I really have a good time with the handle and it works really great for me being a tall person. So you can see it's beautifully well stitched, you even has some hooking points where you can hook some stuff up. One of the things you hook over here is the tripod area, but you've got some different loops that you can take and utilize. If we flip this back over, and we'll go down the sides here in a bit, you can see here we've got some really tough heavy duty plastic feet, some really tough ball bearing. See how nice these are? You don't even hear them click. And they're really well built. they got a lot of shock absorption to them. You can see the big giant rivets and plastic uh, protection they put on it. Of course you have a handle back here. Like I said, if you want to lift the thing up and all that good stuff. I've drugged these uh, over all sorts of curbs, banged them into everything, and they've just taken all sorts of use. Beautiful stitching that they put on the back here. So it does a really nice job that way. Okay, so now down this side of the um, International 2.0 bag, they've got a new locking mechanism they put on here. This is freaking awesome. It's TSA compliant. And what it does, it locks in the zippers so you can't get in. You can take and code it to what you want. And then when you want to get in, you can do that. And then you can easily get into your bag. Pretty freaking cool, huh? Let's flip this baby over. Now down this side, you just got to see a little bit of it earlier. We have a couple different grip hooks that we can take and use for, I don't know, hooking whatever you want to take and do to it. This pocket here, you'll use to put your tripod in, and inside the bag in a second, you'll see that there's a special thing that gets attached to here. And in so doing, it takes and holds the tripod into place for you. Uh, of course, you can use this for a myriad of other things if you wanted also. Okay, so here along the back, you can see the reinforced bottom that they've taken and built with the heavy-duty rivets. 
nice plastic to protect the back of it. This thing is built to take punishment that you're going to take and get. And really, when you're putting twenty or thirty thousand dollars worth of camera gear into this bag, that's really what matters is letting the bag take the beating and not your camera gear, right? So this is what I really love. This is this fold-out pocket of the international bag. And so you can take and hook this up and basically protect what you have in it, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, and use the cable and lock it to something that's uh, immovable and great you do a wedding you do some sort of event your bags locked up you don't have to worry about wandering off and of course the zippers are locked up in the front and there you go one thing that think tanks done that's really cool is they put a serial number on here let me see if I can peel off the plastic really quick they put a serial number on each of these bags and it's riveted into the bag so if for any reason your bag gets stolen or lost, there's a potential if this gets reported to Think Tank Photo, and of course you have to register on their website, you could possibly be getting your bag back. So that's really good, the Airport International version 2.0. Let's flip this baby over and we'll go this way with it so we can take a look. Now, one of the other cool things you can do with that cable that comes around the back, I'll we'll go ahead and pull off our stuff here so that we can take and remove that. Now, there's a big area in here where you can take and put stuff and hold it into place and all that good stuff. So you could potentially put a laptop bag in here and if your laptop's got a lockable thing on it, you could use the cable to lock your laptop into the bag or basically lock it so that you're holding on to it and there you go. So you've got that protection with your laptop. Now, you also have this area up in here. It's got a hook area. It's got two small sort of bag areas. Whoops. Bag areas that you can take in, get into, if we can see that fairly well. So we've got two bag areas. We also have a cable that comes out here that has a lockable thing on it also. So you can use this for locking the bag or laptop or whatever you want to take and do. So, I mean, they just think of everything. So you got this pocket, this pocket, and this pretty much goes down to about here. So it's a smaller pocket than what I've seen in the airport takeoff bag that I have. There's also a hook here that you can hook stuff to hanging out the side. What's really nice is they've got all these little pockets that they put in here, and they're kind of made for whatever you want to do, airport tickets, cell phones, all that good stuff. But you can take and basically lock up whatever you want. But you can have like micro SD cards and everything else just readily available for you at will so that you can take advantage of them. So really cool that way in how they think of, of course, everything with these bags. Always very impressed. And I got to tell you, one of the secrets that I use my bag for is I actually move the pockets around. And if I'm doing a two-day trip, and fortunately I'm a guy so I can do this. If I'm doing a two-day trip, I usually just uh, use this for a luggage bag. And what I do is I put my camera gear into it and then I shove my luggage into it. I move the uh, compartments around and we'll show you that in a second. And away I go. I just use this for luggage. Big secret that I love to have. So I got a camera slash luggage bag. Now here you can see how the Airport International version 2.0 can be used. Uh, to carry your gear. You can see some of the gear. I believe this is the Nikon side, so you can see you can have two bodies in here, a giant lens, which is a 7 to 200 lens. Here's a 24 by 70, a fold-out speed light lens. There's probably another underneath it. Here looks like another lens, and you've got all sorts of camera gear within and without. They also give you kind of a template you can see of Canon. So if you're a Canon fan, you can see here, we've got the Canon stuff. We've got a big 700, 200, look at that, 24, 105, which I have. Uh, and let's see, we've got a speed light, another lens. Uh, we've got a 50 millimeter, 35 millimeter, 85 millimeter, and some other things down here. So they give you an example of what your bag might look like. I got to tell you, these bags are freaking, freaking awesome. Okay, so you can see here we've got compartments all throughout the bag that we can take and use. And you've got plenty of extra of these to take and work. Now they're all Velcro based, so they just rip out a simple tear, just like Velcro. What's even nice is if you want to save one for future use, you can just kind of put it to the side like that, which works very well. Especially if you're traveling, you don't know what you're going to use. There's an extra panel in here that they've taken and given us, so you can pop that loose. All these rip out, all these change over. All these do a wonderful job. In fact, they've got some that are kind of 
circled out so they're great for putting your bodies in and they're gonna fit your body really well the outside of the bag has got kind of a back area that drops down further than the middle of the bag is the skeleton backbone he's kind of in the middle of the bag to protect it so you've got some deeper areas on the sides than you would here in the middle now what's great about this bag like I mentioned to you before I use it as a luggage bag. What's really cool is I can put my camera gear in it and then I can throw some shorts in it and some socks and some shirts and then I'm good to go. I got my stuff. I'm a guy that works really well for me. Probably wouldn't work too well for the ladies, but it definitely works for me as a guy. And you know, if I'm just going to go on an overnight jaunt, why take a camera bag and a luggage bag? I just take this bag. And the nice thing is, is everything is padded, everything's uh, got some nice. Uh, which we call fur protection, I call fur. Uh, it's got great protection. It's not going to scar up. It's not going to damage your beautiful cameras and your investment, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Here's the bag that would go down the side that uh, hooks on to the sidearm, and they give you a few different other straps that you can take and utilize. If you so choose, you can use those straps. But essentially, the bag will hold a very big tripod in it on the side of the bag, and it works extremely well. You strap it down so that it's not rolling about, and it works really good for you. The other thing they give you that's really cool is a rain cover. Now what's inside of here is a rain cover. <laughs> it will cover the whole bag and help make it waterproof. So if you have this out in the rain, you can pull this baby out, you can use it to cover yourself, etc, etc. I don't take mine in the rain much, so what's nice is you can just remove it, set it aside, and then you've got plenty of room to do whatever else you want to take and do with the camera bag. So really freaking amazing on the features you can take and do with this uh, everywhere in in between so it's got an international use and US carry on size for most carriers it's got the TSA approved combination zipper lock it's got front and cable secured laptop keys or other items strong rear cable lock that secures the entire bag to a fixed object it'll hold up to a 500 f4 lens uh, it'll hold professional uh, kits of whatever you have for cameras pretty much. It's 13 inches, or I'm sorry, 14 inches in width on the exterior, 21 inches in height on the exterior, and 8 inches deep in the exterior. Uh, and it just really just is insane. You've got the exterior is all fabric treated for durable water resistance, plus fabric underside is coated with polyurethane for superior water resistance. It's 100, I'm sorry, 1680D ballistic nylon, fuse abrasion resist zippers, custom designed extra tall skid plates, replaceable in skate wheels. That's the other thing I want to mention. The wheels that you saw on this device are replaceable. If for any reason you break them, they'll send you a free kit. You can replace them and away you go. And let me tell you, I don't know what you do to break these wheels. You have to do something crazy to really do that. So it's really built for international and domestic. Uh, and that makes it a really important bag, especially for those of you who do a lot of travel. Let's take a look at the top area. Now, what's really cool too is they took advantage of the flap, and we have some two pockets here. We have another pocket here where we can put stuff in another pocket below, where we have other places that we can put stuff and get everybody in line with what we're with what what we're doing. So as you can see there, you can fit all the goodies that you might just about ever want to take on a trip with you into the uh, Airport International version 2.0. It's just an exceptional, beautiful bag. One thing you can do is if you get some of the laptop bags for uh, from Think Tank Photo, you can use those to put in the front and you can have the security and uh, placement of having a laptop protection bag that you can put in the front. But if you get tight and they say you got to remove it, you can remove it keep it separately and everything. So this front area is designed to really span out and be able to hold some good amount of material you want to take and do wherever your big laptop is and the bag that you might have from Theme Tank Photo you need to slide it into. So like I said I'm very impressed with this. This will become my new bag because I love the lockable features of it. Go see our friends at thinktankphoto.com. That's thinktankphoto.com. See the plethora of bags and cases uh, that they take and make pretty much aligned towards photographers and check out the wonderful products they make there all the good stuff and all the toys that you could possibly ever want to use for making sure your camera gear is protected making sure sometimes if it's confidential like I keep my retrospective bag that doesn't look like a camera bag I love that bag 
Uh, and so people really don't see this camera bag, so they're less likely to steal it. So uh, there you have it, the Airport International version 2.0. Highly recommend the bag. Highly recommend just anything from Think Tank Photo. Really been impressed with their products. Tell them Chris Foss to any Chris Foss test at Chris Foss Brew. Be sure to give us a like on this video. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And be sure to check out Think Tank Photo for all the wonderful, cool products they have there. Always very impressed. And this will become my new travel bag. Thank you. So be sure to check back next time. And we'll see you then.